good morning. Can you hear me? I don't know whether you can hear me. It's so noisy here with the mill race. I'm in Derbyshire in the Peak District and I'm in the Derwent Valley. We have come to visit Arkwright's Mill this morning. It's a huge cotton mill. Um, a huge, I say huge, maybe not so big. Uh, built in the 1700s by a man called Arkwright, obviously. And we're standing here looking at the water um, and listening to the mill race going. It was the first um, cotton mill powered by um, water. This river comes through here. A lot of it was the water that came out of lead mines. And it, the, the, as it was forced up underground from the lead mines, the mill race, they used to use it at the mill race for um, powering the machines, the cotton mills. Let me turn you around a minute. And that's Nick walking towards us. This was the original building. The right hand end of it is was built and added on later. Good morning, sir. Boo. <laughs> the right hand end was added later. Um, the original building was there in the centre that you're seeing there to the left of the red um, life boy. Right over in the corner there that dark object is actually an aqueduct that comes in across the, from the, uh, the road and used to dispense the water and the mill wheel would have been there. You're looking at a bridge and the bridge was originally, believe it or not, the main road. That was there before the mill was. If you come along this way, these buildings were added later. So this would have been the large building. He was one of the richest men in the area. His, his wealth just took off. It went mad. It took off. Good morning, everybody. Hello, everyone. Lovely to see you. The water comes along through here. This is the river. And I'm going to walk you up to the actual mill race. Now, it's really noisy. So we'll have a little look and then I'll come back and talk to you again. So the water comes along here. Now over this side of the bridge, let's get a bit closer to the phone so that I hope you can hear me. Below us here, these are the remaining foundations of the barracks. He actually built barracks for people, men predominantly, to live in because he couldn't find enough women in the area to um, work the mills. And he took on single men and imported them, so to speak, from afar and as a consequence built the barracks for them to live in but this apparently all went up in flames um, in 1961 and they had to demolish it sadly but it's an incredible place um, you can imagine the scenery is quite stunning if you could see it this morning the weather is absolutely atrocious um, and we're just waiting for the main mill building to open so that we can go in and have a look at all the machinery and see how it all used to work. So thank you ever so much for joining me. Um, it's been lovely to have you and uh, more later perhaps. All right, bye-bye for now. Thank you everyone, bye-bye.
with three whites, five purples, and a brown. And that is spinning so much faster than these. Stop rope. There's a purple one in the corner, just go. Oh, it stopped, yeah. Purple. Can you see all the links? Yeah. I think the noise of all of that. All of the machines working in 